Anyway, back again. Yes, I had to do it this way due to the fact that someone's hacking my stuff. Well, I'm not that concerned about it as of right now. I already pinged the crap out into the FBI station from the service I put around here from uh, two years ago when I was here. Yes, this is the area I came to and put my server down. Yes, they would never be able to find it all legal like douchebag KKK. And yes, the brown people over here and over there are also racist, so thumbs up. As I stated before, legally or in a legal manner, I will wipe the floor with this planet, so it does not matter. Anyway, back to the video at hand. There's every state has their own forms as of legality. Uh, in New York, dang. Some douchebag police officer pulled me over, hit back of my car. I got out. I need a police officer to throw. Yes, but before then and all that stuff, I already have my legal form with me anyway. And I also usually carry around laws in my car, in my truck ahead of time, just in case some bullcrap like that happen, or in my wallet. Normally in New York, I usually have IOU cars, and I don't carry any money or cars on me when I'm going out and stuff, just in case. But, you know, so I usually have forms like this on me and all that stuff. So I keep legal documents around. In New York, I have this funny thing because it is one of the Commonwealth states. Um, as a federal, state, civil, small claims and all that stuff wise. In the state of uh, Alaska, there's Superior, District, Supreme, and Supremacy Courts. And then a small claims court, and it's like a bunch of bull crap. And then it's basically being the same thing, but different terms, and it's just bull crap. It's the same thing with California. Northern California has Federal District Court of Federal, well, well, it didn't. Southern California has freaking Supreme Court, which is also federal, because you can take it to Congress. It's like blah, blah, blah. It's what I'm kind of doing right now, like I said. Anyway, as you see, this United States District Court of North Dakota has stand for federal here, but, yeah. Anyway, this is my attachment to the actual form. They gave me an actual form packet that has the actual form itself and then attachment. If they do not say an attachment option, you have to put that on there. I've been doing lawsuit for the past six, seven years now. So, that's why. This is attachment for a fee waiver. It depends on <laughs> what court case you go to you want to do it fee waiver is to waive the pan fee for the clerk when i say fee waiver i mean when you turn a lawsuit in the clerk will go to your paper see if you can use get it use the paperwork or evidence or recording use get it anyway this is north dakota full of kkk and ignorant stupid gangs and wannabe mafia and you, normally with me i just nuke the planet you know i go an attachment to y'all maybe just maybe it's a gang to me but anyway, back to the subject at hand. L. Back to the subject at hand. Um, this is attachment to the fee waiver form. You got to pay a fee when you go to court. And you normally get to pay like $400 fee, $500 fee, $700 fee. I've been to a court case where I had to pay $10,000 fee when I try to do my United States Supreme Court. I'm like, oh man, that is stupid ridiculous. Yeah, that's just turning into paperwork. And then there's the fee for getting the case started, going to the case and going back. Don't even get me started on that board crap. But anyway, this is the fee waiver form. As you see, it's attachment to it. I, you got to prove you need a need for a fee waiver at the moment of time. If you win the fee waiver, you won't have to pay for it. The defendant or plaintiff will. Whoever loses the case has to pay the waiver form or the payment for both sides for them. But if I don't get my fee waived, then I have to pay for it. Neither states never had a need to not accept my fee waived. But, you know, freaking Department of Justice, FBI taught me, as I said before. For me, snapping my fingers for y'all is y'all been. I slip on a banana, which I already did. Plaintiff is whoever doing a lawsuit. Defend is whoever received it in a lawsuit. You know that. I haven't put the case number or I should put, should put civil action on the bottle due to civil action in this case in this attachment. The case number I have not been assigned to yet to turn my paperwork in. The court of attachment, this is attachment B of that section. Fee waivers, 
which is the section that the feet blow into. We already now put a purchase on them. God, I don't know what my purchase is going to be. And the article behind it was AO240. Now, this day have AO240 rail for 01 slash 09. Alaska had AO241 rail slash 02. Yeah, I know. It's the same thing, but you know. L. I think New York doesn't even have an AO. I can't, I, 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 I don't know. I just can't be concerned about it. As you see, this is my attachments and stuff. As I organized, made attempt to anyway. Now, these are just the attachment forms, not the form itself. I'm going to the next one. Yes, this is my stuff. Total douchebag. But anyway, as I said before, it's the same thing as the other one. Self, I put a page number on this one due to the fact there's multiple pages for this one. Now, this is a summons and subpoena. It's the same thing as the last one, but I did not put any specific detail. This is attachment to the actual form itself by the state standard L. Section 3, summoning and subpoena pages. Hmm, hold on. Section 3, free waiver. Oh, dang, I gotta put a different section. All right. Section is that? That's section three. This is section four. Oh, my balls. I have to go back all over again. Anyway. Yes, let's bullcrap stuff like that again before. What a great time to print this out. Anyway, this type of lawsuit I'm doing is called pro se. It's pretty much universal term. Some say called du duo decim. None English crap. So when people say speak English, they just throw the law book up there and say, Is this English? It's any of this English. It's any of the English. Anyway. <coughs> yeah, these are my summoning subpoenas. Now, summoning and subpoenas are a bit different. It's hard to say. Some state call it subpoena, is summoning, some state call it summoning is a subpoena. <gasps> And summon is giving to uh, <clears throat> summon a person as a witness or summon documents to use in a court case while subpoena can mean the same thing, but you know. I'm not gonna go into full details about it. I am not an attorney, but from some of those who was on my Twitch channel, my daily more daily motion channel and my MySpace channel, when with MySpace popular, I know I went to paralegal school and stuff like that. So I made an attempt to do so. Paralegal is nothing more than a glorified desk attendant. Pretty much basically what I'm doing now, but the attorney is the one who decides what laws and statutes go by and what they want, and the freaking paralegal L put it up and see if the attorney like it or not. The attorney will go do it. Basically, attorney is like two steps up from paralegal. Anyway, I plan to for myself. Uh, usually you want attachment to be general as possible and spe specific as possible, but in my case is I'm putting it as general because I plaintiff is requesting the court, the count clerk, count, crap, whatever, or, uh, county clerk, oops, anyway, county clerk of blah, 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 to subpoenas. The item listed. Okay. Now, I did when I first filed my lawsuit again in Alaska, and I did all this bull crap. And they said, You missing a form? No, I'm not. And then they kept doing over. I made a video, I sent a video, and said, You missing a form? I said, Okay. And then my video never came back. <sighs> oh, that crap was hilarious. But like I said, this is staying North Dakota, KK headquarters up here. Like, I know there's a KK everywhere. They like, they hit up every good spot, but you know. And douchebag brown people up here. Or maybe Latino natives. Who knows? I can't be concerned anymore, like I said before. Or cartel. I just can't be concerned anymore. I'm just one shot in everyone. But anyway, back to the subject at hand. These are my summonies form. For a summonies and subpoena forms, you have to be specific of what you want. From the day, the time frame, and stuff like that. What you want, when you want. For me, like I said, it's, it's general, but it's not it's general and broad, but it doesn't get specific. 
for front records I just said I as a customer ever hold on. I put how do the phone companies want the information as my name, the date I was with them, the phone numbers I wore, blah blah blah, what I want from them, and I put time frame as time frame as my name has I under any time my name have ever been with them. If this name is under y'all, that's the name I want. And as I said before, it can be no two person with the same name in the United States. And you see, I'm just going to do the phones I ever had with them because that's when the freaking stuff happened for this lawsuit in Pacific. Let me make a law about this book out. I do not need to subpoena off my own phone records. Yes, I've been related to that bull crap. Any, any. Like, during my paralegal school, we had to make a law book based on law stuff. So, I was already making laws as a child. I told you before. I said, hey, any and all conversation and all action of is considered liable for a lawsuit. So, do not need subpoena mm. one do not need oh, my bad one do not need to subpoena my own record so basically even if it's your phone call you still need to subpoena your own phone record no matter what yeah. yep so no matter if you do this and do that blah 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 Hey, I need my phone with you need a subpoena for that. Who says? Did not say did they not say didn't say that? I don't remember that boy crap. You know. L. As I said before at the top, crap. Yeah. I was very specific for my name and date down. This goal was the actual form. Now the actual form itself is another video. And like I said, I multiply from each of these and I'm just gonna put attachment C. On that, and that attachment C will list all the subpoena information I requested. Now, these people are pretty douchebag, douchebag because on one of my forms, uh, what is it? On one of my, on a the deal, they would say 5265 yeah, and now I can never find it. But unfortunately for them, I had a backup server in California. So I just had to ping back out the, that backup server and print it down, which I did. So I'm broke my house, stole my stuff, and I ping off another one again, told him L, as in law. It's like my freaking bullcrap easement. But anyway, back to the subject at hand. I'm going to tell you something that no attorney wants you to know.